What's up Kids Life? Welcome to our online experience. My name is Rafe and I am so excited to be with you guys today. Christmas is just right around the corner and it is such a special time of the year because we get to celebrate the best gift ever. Let's jump into the experience. Life, it is now time to play a game. Brandon, are you ready to play a game? I'm most definitely ready. Today we're playing a game called Candy Cane Fishing, and I must tell you, this is a good one. What's gonna happen is we're gonna use this candy cane, we're gonna put it in our mouth, and we're gonna go fishing for candy canes. Now we gotta transfer this candy cane with our mouth and put it on this plate. Now this is a fun game to play at home, so make sure you play it with your family this holiday season, because trust me, it's a fun one. Now here's the catch though, I forgot to say this part. Are you ready? Yeah. Kids Life, are you ready for this catch? Are y'all ready? We have to do this in one minute. Oh my goodness, yes, one, one minute. minute. But I believe we can do this. Can you do it? Kids Life, can, can we do this? All right, hey, they're encouraging us. All right, y'all right. think Brandon's gonna win or me? Who you guys got? I got me. You got me. me. All right, I think drop me. it in the chat right now. We need to know. Okay, I see some people right. rooting for us. Yeah. All right. All right, you ready? You ready to play this game? Hey, hey, person way, way back there. Yeah, you, can you come here? Can, yeah, can you, one minute on the timer, on the please? Timer. Yeah. Yep, thank you. Yeah. All okay. right, you ready? You ready to play this game? Let's go. All right, let's um, count it down. In three, two, one, go! Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I'm it. This is a little hard, kid, right? Move, <laughs> woo, make it move. Oh, oh, go that way. Oh, you got this oh. one. Hey, you get down. Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it on here. Wait. Oh, I only got two. Oh, no, I dropped it. Who got no. my brain in a way? Okay, we got 38 seconds. Oh, oh, wait, no. Wait. oh no, no. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Wait, how do you get it off here, Lord? <laughs> yeah, I'm going for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Megan, she in. No, it fell. <laughs> I just had it. You got 20 seconds. What? Okay, 17 seconds. Megan, Megan's in my way. <laughs> you go this way with it. Okay, one more. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. We got six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you broke one. <laughs> Three seconds. Three. Oh, we got to stop. Okay. Oh. Well, um, Brandon has a lot. And um, <laughs> Megan has a little. Yeah. You did a good job. How, how many though? Good That's job this. though. How I many? got one, two, <laughs> three, four. Oh. Ha! I got four. Four. <laughs> and I have one. Can we give it up for everyone? Good job. Good job, Brandon. Good job. Way to go. That was awesome. All right. So, Stay tuned. We got some more stuff happening. See you later. Welcome to Story Lab. This week, we're celebrating Christmas. Oh, and we're also doing this. Hey, I'm Amaya. And I'm Zeke. And we're talking about Christmas. Which is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. What do you love the most about getting ready for Christmas? Oh, everything. The lights, decorations, ooh, Christmas specials. And that's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Don't forget setting up the nativity. Nativity? You know, all the figures from the Christmas story. Oh, yeah. We still put up the plastic manger scene from when I was a kid. Plus, we bake all sorts of cookies. Oh, I love Christmas cookies. Good, because we're going to do it all by building a gingerbread nativity. Oh, do we have to bake? Nope, but we do have to architect. Here we have all of our characters. We have Mary, we have Joseph, we have baby Jesus, and one, two, three wise men. What about the shepherds? The kid didn't have any shepherds. Well, I'm turning this guy into a shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> the kid also didn't have any barns or stable or shed, so we're gonna be using... Graham crackers. Yeah, I mean, this is where our architectural skills really come in. Have you ever made a gingerbread house before? Yeah, but the icing never holds right. The pieces always slide or fall down. Not today, because today we're using... Sugar glue. Mm, I'm not seeing glue. Well, that's because we have to apply super heat until it melts like 
lava. Oh, that's cool. Let's, Let's make, make it. it. Remember, do not do this alone. Grab an adult to help. All right, first step. Pour the sugar into a bottom-heavy saucepan. Thank you. All right, that should be enough to start. Step two. Place the sugar on a burner on medium-high heat. Definitely grab a grown-up for this part. Step three. Swirl the sugar and stir as it starts to melt. Thank you. Oh, oh, here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have glue. Woo, it's actually caramelized. Sugar, or sucrose, is a single molecule. When heat is applied, it kicks off a series of chemical reactions. These can form up to 1,000 different compounds that make up caramel. It's so complicated, scientists aren't even sure how it works yet. Step five, keep your sugar glue warm while you build. <laughs> hmm, I think Frank Lloyd Wright will be proud. Who? Oh, the famous architect. Although, I don't think Frank Lloyd Wright worked in gingerbread and sugar glue. Tasty, though. Do we get to decorate? Yes, right now. <laughs> and... <laughs> well, that turned out kind of... I mean, you can tell what it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Away in a manger, one cookie for a bed. All right, it's time for... The story before the story. Today, we're in the third book of the New Testament, Luke. But before Luke, in the very beginning, out of love, God made an amazing world. But when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God made a plan to bless the whole world through the Israelites, but over and over, God's people would run to God and then pull away, just like a yo-yo. Then, foreign nations invaded and captured the Israelites. They must have wondered if God still loved them and if he had a plan for them. God spoke through prophets about the great rescuer God would send. And at last, after hundreds of years, God sent an angel to tell a girl named Mary she would have a very special baby. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey, everybody. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Okay, the stage was set. After so many long years, God's amazing rescue plan was underway. And God actually used a foreign king to help carry out that plan. The Jewish people lived under Roman rule and the Roman leader, Caesar Augustus, needed money for his fine palaces and large army. I command a census of every single person in my entire empire. That meant that every person had to be counted and placed on a list to pay expensive taxes to Rome. And news of this census traveled all the way from Rome to the tiny town of Nazareth in Judea, on the very edge of the Roman Empire. Hey ye, hey ye. Every person must go immediately to their own hometown to be listed. A carpenter named Joseph and the girl he was engaged to marry, named Mary, heard the decree. Whew, I guess I'll be making a road trip to Bethlehem. I guess we'll be making a road trip to Bethlehem. Both Joseph and Mary had been born into the family line of King David, so they would have to make the week-long journey to Bethlehem, the town of David, in order to be counted. Now, this was more than a little inconvenient, as Mary was nearly ready to have a baby. A baby whose birth had been announced by an angel! You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. The trip from Nazareth to Bethlehem was uh, about 70 miles, which is just a couple hours by car, but a whole week of travel on foot or by donkey. 
The journey was long and dusty. Camping out on the rough ground could not have been very comfortable for Mary. At last, Mary and Joseph saw the town of Bethlehem. They must have been ready for a hot bath and a quiet place to stay after that long journey. But the little town of Bethlehem was not so still and silent. Lots of other people had come to be counted as well. They filled every inn and guest room in town. There has got to be room for us somewhere. Have you checked with all of your relatives? Even my great aunt Hulda and, and my third cousins twice removed. Finally, the very last home that Mary and Joseph tried had a room, sort of. They were offered a place to stay with the animals. I don't know about this. It's dry, it's warm, and this baby really, really, really needs a place to be born. So Mary and Joseph settled into their most unusual guest room, and there with the cows, and sheep, and chickens, Mary's brand new baby boy was born. It's just like the angel told you, and his name. The angel said we must call him Jesus. Mary wrapped her baby tightly in long strips of cloth to keep him warm and cozy. There was no crib or cradle, so she placed him in a manger. The king of the entire world slept peacefully in the animal's feeding trough as Mary and Joseph looked on, and outside, the nighttime sky blazed with stars. God's very own son, the best gift ever, came into the world in the most unexpected way. And the birth announcement, well, I'm just gonna save that for later. Most amazing birth story ever. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, nobody understood it then, but this tiny baby was going to grow up to teach and heal and show people what God was like. And then Jesus would choose to lay down his life and the whole world to defeat death itself. That is some Christmas gift. Not exactly something you just find on an Amazon wish list. So what's our part in the story? Well, our world gets wrapped up in hoping for so many different things, you know? We want everything from world peace down to a, a shiny new skateboard, and that's great. But in the middle of it all, be sure to remember the most important gift. Right, so find a quiet moment to thank God for the gift of Jesus and ask God to help you walk with Jesus every moment of the coming year. Yeah, because knowing Jesus is an amazing gift that you can open every single day. I think you've got it. So, Merry Christmas, ho, 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 ho. See you next Merry time. Merry Christmas, bye, Brian. Bye, Brian. So here's the thing, Jesus is the greatest gift. I think we need some sheep at the manger. Big, fluffy ones. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, what's up, Kids Life? What is the best gift you have ever gotten? Can you tell me on the count of three? One, two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. How did you wrap a pony? That, that's not important. Anyway, do you know that we are talking about the best gift that was ever given? You know who that is? That's right, it's Jesus. Jesus was and is the greatest, most incredible gift that anybody could ever receive. Think about that, because God gave his one and only son, Jesus, and because of what Jesus did, we can be forgiven of our sins, and we can have a relationship with him. I mean, even thinking about when Jesus showed up, for years and years, God's people had been waiting for the promise of God's Savior. And then it finally happened. And we see that happening in Luke chapter 2, verse 11. It says, Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And on that day, not just a, a notification or an email or a phone call, all of heaven announced that Jesus had come to the earth. And so people finally got to see that the promise that God had made had been fulfilled. And that promise was not just to them, it was for you and me. And that's the reason we celebrate Christmas, knowing that Jesus is the greatest gift. So, as we celebrate Christmas this month, maybe you know someone who doesn't know the meaning of Christmas or that God has given them the greatest gift possible. Well, not this one, but Jesus, that's right. And so let's take some time and thank God for giving us the greatest gift in our Savior, Jesus. 
God, we thank you just for your love for us. Thank you, God, for not holding back, but for loving us so much that you sent your son, Jesus, the savior of the world, to pay the price for us so that we could know you, so we could be a part of your family, so that when we trust you, we know that you're always forever with us. We love you and we thank you for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. What's up, Kids Life? Welcome back. We told you had more to come, and now we're gonna play a game called That's it's, a Rap. Oh, it's That's. It's, I, that, that's, a, that rap. Rap. that's a, rap. a Rap. That's a Rap. 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 So we yeah. have two minutes to see who can wrap this box the fastest, and I think I'm gonna win again. Why don't we let Kids Life decide, though? Put it in the chat you if Life? you think it should be Meg or do you think it's Brandon. I think I'm gonna come back, you know. Oh, we'll see. 2-0. We'll 2-0 see series. who has the rapping skills. Hey, you, you, you over there? Can, yeah, can you, two minutes this time? Yeah, yeah, two minutes. Thank you. Okay, all right. Are you, you ready? ready? You ready? I'm ready. You Are ready, you kids? ready, kids life? Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's count it down. In three, three two, two, one. Right, let's go. Okay. Okay, so we'll start off right here like this, kids life. Check out this strategy, uh -huh. kids life. We got Get a little of this. All so, about the measurement. Oh no, the tape. Let's see. Okay. Okay, look so You gotta eye it with your you gotta eye it with your mind. Eye. You know, who needs scissors? So yeah, you don't need scissors. I'm gonna tell you right now, if anybody ever tells you that you need scissors to wrap against, they are not being truthful. They wrong. Cause we're gonna wrap this gift without scissors. See? Like that. With scissors. Guys. Alright. Oh. Ooh! Like that. All about the folding. Need some. Put a little tape. A little tape right Wait a there. Minute, where the tape? What you do? You gotta punch it, kids. Like you punch tape. it on the other side. <laughs> there you go. Like this right here. Like that. Oh no! <laughs> Think about tape. It's a little sticky. Yes, yeah, really sticky. Right there. Yeah. And, uh, Wait, Megan, you took my tape. Bro, my tape ain't working. Kids like, was Megan gonna take my tape? The night. This tape is a little sticky, guys. <laughs> oh, there we go. Get a long piece of tape. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, wait, that's oh, no. not working. Okay, we're gonna bring this around. Bring it around town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. I got that right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that kid's life. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's look at that. beautiful. That's great. So we I have want... 21 seconds Oh, left. no. 21? That is the fastest two minutes, man. Oh, my fast. goodness. I want some, some ribbon or something. I got a pen. I need a bow. What color should I do? Should I do blue? Should I do orange? What color? You got 20 seconds. You can figure it out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wait. Okay. They said blue. Blue. Okay. Oh, no. Two seconds. Oh. Uh... Wait. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> mine, I, you know, actually, though, I got you. Look at that. What? Knock that out. Like that. Like how rap that is. That's a rap right there. <laughs> Good job. Good job. We love you, kids' life. And Merry Christmas! Christmas! See you later.